fence uh, on the east side of where the school used to be. Uh, is a, uh, a plaque, or this is the uh, centennial from uh, 1986, uh, depicting the early days of Cogswell. You notice the grain, the uh, train of buffalo, and uh, a little further down you'll see pheasants. This logo was submitted by Marcy Yonke. He did all the artwork on it. The shown here is a flag that was donated by the American Legion. And the Legion is just the American Legion Park to the American Legion and the Auxiliary. Planted the trees and we'll see flowers here in a moment that the uh, two organizations have donated the time and effort every year to keep them up. Now this is the... Uh, June 30th, 1995, the registration at the Expressway Inn in uh, Fargo. She in the Kerry Lou Ruin, Oak Ruin in the background there. Kay Anderson, daughter, and then this is Joyce Bailey And you can see the reunion sign. Now we're in the Everybody had uh, displays. Uh, we're hoping that we're going to get these good enough so people can see them. As we progress here, uh, uh, the pictures you're going to see are people that uh, at random. So there's a uh, virtual impossibility to get groups together. Uh, so we're going to try to identify everyone that we can. And Carrie Lou is helping me. Uh, and she knows more of these people probably than I do. But we had, uh, this is the sign out front at the expressway in. And look at it at the top, you see it says, Welcome Cogswell, all, all, school, reunion. all school reunion. And here we're back at registration again. Uh, we caught uh, a lot of people. I caught several people at the registration table, but uh, that was not always possible. That was the best plan that was made for the night by the 1938 class. They used it at very Or Saber. Leon Christian Jones. Stan Cole, Wayne Daly. Elmer Evenson, Dolores Evenson, and a Noel girl. Arlen, Arlen, Leon Christensen, Wayne Daly again. Leonard Harnes and his wife. And Leon. Uh, Marianne Farley, uh, Fern Freeman, and Donna Mae Farley. And there's Jim Patterson. Neil and Ardell, Anders, Green Anders. Okay, this is uh, Stan Brower, Dorothy Cole, uh, Bud Wild, and uh, Audrey Brower and Stan Cole. Audrey Brower there, this is Bob Jordan, uh, Tony Evenson and Neil Anders. Marianne Farley. Ronald, Ronald Edgerton. And now we we'll see uh, Fern Shannon and Jean Isaacson.
This is Dorothy Klinkhammer and her husband, Ed Leitner. Leitner. Howard Kraft with his back to us. He warned Christensen facing the camera behind it. That's Cleo Bope's back. That's George Klinkhammer close to us. Esther Carpenter. Rita Klinkhammer. Those are two French folks. Patricia. Adams. Adams. Uh, Doug Sorry. Francis Comet. Martha Clark. Student as well as teacher. Lynn, Lynn Ritter. Ritter and Esther Carpenter we saw, I believe, there. And Warren Christensen again. Harlan Clefstead standing in the doorway. Virginia Even with her hair up. Patricia Griffin Adams again. Dale Christensen. Lee Ruin. Susan Carpenter. Lynn Ritter. Pat Adams. Dale Christensen. Lucille uh, Lewis. And Marlis Ruin was standing with her with the peach colored clothes on there. And this is Lila Lewis with her back to us. But the gathering we had was uh, in the uh, in the room and sometimes it got a little uh, crowded. Crowded, you're right. There's J.D. Bolt, May Bolt, and Cleo Christians and Bolt. So we're going to talk to see the nice lady here, Miss Baird. And uh, we're now in the garden level and it's so sorry you see there in the peach colored shirt. Uh, this is uh, uh, Claude Christensen, Keith Rowan, and of course uh, Cleo was in between, and there's uh, Joe Sorry again. Side garden. But we had a get together on the garden uh, Friday night, and uh, just a great uh, group of people. Uh, virtually impossible to identify every one of them, but we trying to give you an opportunity to see who all was there. Some I know. Uh, you'll recognize that maybe we don't identify. Shirley Buhalf Olson. Uh, there's Isetta Colvin and Stan Cole. Dorothy Melrose. Wayne Daly, Leonard Harnes, Harlan Clifstead. Martha Clark. Uh, Cora Ritter Cora. in the red. Of course, Carrie Lou Ruin. Orville O'Neill. Lee Ruin again. Audrey Brower. Brower. Oliver Benson. A couple of friends, Boggs, Leo Schreiner, back against the wall, Cy Gordon and Pat uh, Patterson, I mean. Uh, Jim Patterson. There's uh, Mary Jane uh, Sealhammer, Katie. Wayne Sealhammer, mm. Barbara. This now is on the uh, brunch on Saturday morning, and that was <coughs> Orville O'Neill you saw there. Uh, Dale Christensen was with him. We're showing groups as they were sitting down eating. This is the uh, place where we uh, went to uh, get our food, and that's Audrey Bope uh, Oxley with a paper in her hand there. Uh, there's Dan Oakley facing us and uh, Webster, Harvey Webster with his back to us. Mm -hmm. And then these are the Gibsons, uh, Pat Pat Dawson. Pat Dawson and her husband, Isetta Colvin. Christians and sisters uh, look like I own and uh, Jean. Jean. Okay, then we all uh, 
look at the crowd again, and you, from this you can see there were lots of people there. Uh, this uh, next one you'll see is Jerry and Rose Saunders there. Uh, Marla Sherwin. There's Stan Brower. Mildred Klinkhammer in the blue with her back to us. Bonnie again, and her husband just to the right. You can just see him over the top. This lady to the couple to the left there of uh, Francis and uh, his wife is Francis Cummins. And then we're back at the uh, registration with uh, uh, Kay Anderson and uh, Joyce uh, Daly. Cortez. Okay, and this. What well, we're showing now is the t-shirts that were made for this particular reunion, and they say the Coswell Old School, uh, Coswell High School, and then we're showing the hat that was also. And if you notice, it says Comets on the front of it, and uh, if we remember back, the, the uh, Coswell High School was always known as the Comets, because the school was built in the year that the Halley's Comet came nearest to the Earth at that, in that location. Uh, you also see there the uh, Centennial hat, and again, this is uh, the design that was uh, done by Marcius uh, Yonke, Marcia Yonke. Uh, now we're uh, in the garden again looking at uh, uh, the class of 43, Cy Gordon was there, and that was uh, Adeline Pikehammer, and there's uh, Wayne Sealhammer, uh, Dale Ruin, Arlene Christensen Wagner. Stan Brower, Audrey Brower. The lady in the middle is Dolores Cummett. Ron Edgerton again with a black hat with a red bill. Harry Oxley. This was the high school emblem that we had showing the reunion from 1912 to 1963 in the maroon and gold colors, which have been the colors of the school. We'll go back to the uh, class of 43. Now here they are. They were, it took them, seemed like forever to get ready for a class picture, but that was, is them at that point. Back row was uh, Harry Oxley, uh, Dan Brower. Which Bud Strauss, and then there'd be show his, his wife, uh, Evelyn, in a minute there she is, and then Myra Han. Cora Ritter is on the other side of Evelyn Strauss. Barb Seal, I mean. uh, This is a quilt that was made by the uh, senior citizens group, uh, and notice the uh, CHS emblem in the center. And this was given as a door prize. Uh, Won by Linda Hoffman. Yeah. <laughs> July the 1st, uh, we're uh, on now. And of course, the uh, scene from the beginning where we had the breakfast to here is on July 1. Uh, now we've got class of 47 attempting to get together. Uh, and then we had Wayne Seelhammer and uh, uh, Wayne was that Wayne Klinkhammer in the background there, and now we have uh, uh, Lois uh, Benson Gehring, Leon Christensen Jones, Barbara Ferguson Sealhammer in the front there, uh, then there's uh, Leonard Harnes, uh, Alphonse Schreiner, Ken Anders, and Kirk Smith. Uh, Vivian Cole uh, Stocking was there briefly, but I don't believe we got a picture of her unless that was. And Lila is not in there yet. 
so is Wayne Daly missing in this particular mm -hmm. part of the picture. But they were registered and they were there. Uh, we had a guest photographer here, and unfortunately, I, his name has escaped me. We thank him for taking care of taking our picture. He had a steady hand. He certainly did. And again, this is the class of 1947. People in this particular picture were say, showing the closest people are class of 1946. That's Merlin Stocking sitting down there, his wife sitting next to him on his right then. Uh, there's a Bond Christensen Dee Dee. But that was, uh, the classes were arranged by uh, year of graduation. Uh, there's some in here I'm sure that you're going to recognize, but uh, uh, now the yellow, the lady in the yellow uh, blouse is uh, in the wheelchair, Mrs. Charles Ferguson. Uh, she had just uh, recovering from a, a transplant, and that's Charles Ferguson with a camera taking pictures there. And then you see Madeline uh, Daly Christensen, Butch Harris, and Minnie uh, Anderson. We'll be looking down the row here in a minute, and you'll see uh, uh, Nancy Anderson, uh, uh, Cleo Bolt, uh, Arlene Christensen, uh, Wayne uh, uh, Sealhammer. And this is a picture of the teachers. And Ruth Cooper, also down in the Cogswell area. She was our music teacher for a long time, class of 33. That's where I learned that song. <laughs> You do. This is the guy when I was starting my basketball career. <laughs> right in the middle of practice, he took me off to the side and he bent way over. I'm only about this big, and he said, "Why don't you save us both some time and go home?" <laughs> so I've always thought about that. Probably wouldn't have gotten the tennis shoe business anyway. So thank you guys all. Appreciate. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, we have. The gentleman with the microphone is the MC for the evening, and it's Ed Huffman. It's further away than it used to be the hill. <laughs> I've given up running to the bus. It leaves earlier than it used to. <laughs> it seems to me they're making the stairs steeper than in the old days. And have you noticed the smaller print they use in the newspaper? <laughs> There's no sense asking anyone to read aloud anymore, as everybody speaks in such a low voice, I can hardly hear them. <laughs> That's true in the back of the room tonight, isn't it? <laughs> the material in dresses is so skimpy now, especially around the hips and waist, that it's almost impossible to reach one's shoelaces. <laughs> and the sizes don't run the way they used to. Oh boy, I heard that even in my house. <laughs> even people are changing. They're so much younger than they used to be when I was their age. <laughs> On the other hand, people my age are so much older than I am. <laughs> I ran into an old schoolmate the other day and she aged so much she didn't know me. <laughs> I got to thinking about the poor dear while I was combing my hair this morning and in so doing I glanced at my own reflection. Really now, they don't even make good mirrors like they used to. <laughs> I thought that was quite relative. <laughs> Anybody would like this job right now would be the time to ask. <laughs> Gladly hand over the mic. If not, we will proceed. And we'd like to begin with the, the younger generation here. The we're going to call it the Roaring Twenties decade. If everybody that that went to school in Cogswell or graduated from Cogswell in the 1920s, if you would just stand for a minute, please, so we could all just kind of get a look at who's here from the 1920s. All right, that is Dorothy Blanchard, Pearl Benson, Esther Carpenter, and Margaret Stout.
Pardon me? I didn't say you could sit back down, no. But it's okay, Margaret, yeah. You can sit back down. Yeah, that'll be better. You betcha. I have a little bit of information here about the 20s. Some of it I gleaned from one of the girls that went to school in the 20s. I won't mention any names, Esther, but I did talk to some people that went to school there. Uh, the people back in that decade were a lot more refined and conservative than kids in, even in the next generation. This is the era that made such wonderful con contributions such as flagpole sitting and dance marathons to our uh, society. So that was really quite a feat in itself right there, flagpole sitting. Any of you ever do that? Anybody ever know anybody that was a flagpole sitter? Nobody. The dance marathons, there's a record of one that lasted 119 days, and they said the people that participated in this soaked their feet in vinegar and brine in order to get ready for it. So, anybody here do that? Highways, highway patrol. So, we have these people from the 20s to thank for this.